If I were to mm. step into the Star Trek transporter and it degrades me, it pulls me apart atom by atom and reconstructs me on the surface of the planet, is that mm. me? Did I die and someone else uh, came about? And then there's a second version of this, which is, what if the transporter breaks me down into all my atoms and then mm. shoots those atoms themselves over to the planet and then it's reconstructed? And people often yeah. feel better about the second scenario. But this proves really hard for us to shake these sorts of cognitive uh, architectures that we've grown up on. Yeah, yeah. I love that example of the transporter. It's actually a modern version of the ship of Theseus, which was the parable or the story of the king of uh, Greece. When he died, he, they put his ship into storage and the, the shipwrights went back to look at it each year and they noticed that some of the planks need replacing. So they, eventually they replace the planks to the extent that none of the original wood uh, is, is left uh, on show. So the question is, is it still the ship of Theseus? And if that transition happens gradually, people think, oh yeah, it's just like you're just renovating or repairing a ship, but it's still the ship of thesis. And then you say, okay, let's assume they never threw that wood away. They reconstruct a second ship, which is the ship of thesis. And this really throws people because identity and unique attachment that we have to things that we care about evoke this essential notion. 